today we're here to unveil the car we have in front of you. Kevin has always pursued the best and the most detailed and best builders out there in creating the cars that he needs to create to make his vision come true. And today I'm going to introduce Kevin Salvaggio, sorry, David Salvaggio out here. And he's going to talk to us a little bit about the unveiling of this GNX. So tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Kev's stoked. I'm stoked. It's going to be a good unveiling. Uh, you know what's great about Kevin? He's just not buying cars. He's doing the right cars. He's building what I would say an epic collection. And as you can see, everything here and Michael Myers over there, he's got the bug. He's got the passion. And, uh, you know, I just want to, I guess, say good things to Magnaflow, BSF, HRE, Gabe's Upholstery, Image Detailing, the crew, Sean, Telly, Mario, all these guys, hardworking dudes. And you know, it's really funny, and I, I try to wrap my head around it. How does some people from Wisconsin or whatever get hooked up with Kevin Hart? And it's all about car culture. It's like a bond. And when you have cool cars, it don't matter who you are, it's this bond that puts everybody together. So um, what do you think, Kev? Should we take a look? We should take a look, but just to echo what he said, man, major thank you uh, to all my partners. And I do mean it when I say partners because this is not done um, by myself. This is not an individual hobby. You do need an amazing team of people. So Magnaflow, shouts out to you. I know you said HRE, uh, Sean, um, Gabe, just to echo what you said. Of course, you, Dave, uh, and I know we're probably missing a couple more, but I am a real car enthusiast. I do love that this is something that brings people together and we all get to share the same world of like and love attached to a vehicle and a craftsmanship that goes into building it. And for me, that's something that's evergreen. It can last from now until I'm however years old. It's something that can be passed down to my son, to my younger son, to my daughters. Uh, they know that this is where their father's passion is. So I'm happy today to reveal some of them. Um, I do have a lot. I try not to show too many because I don't want y'all to think I'm an asshole. So I try to keep uh, a, a large number of them under, under the wraps. But this one we've worked on for quite some time. It's been an amazing idea. And I did not want to see it before I got here. So this is actually my first time seeing the Grand National as well. So uh, Dave, um, I'm gonna stop talking. Let me see the car. Oh, oh, slow down. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to pass it over to Sean. Sean and I have been working together for over 10 years. Uh, respect him, great designer. And I just want Sean to talk about his inspiration too when we went and built the car. Yeah, the uh, inspiration was basically to build on the foundation that the original Grand National was. I mean, it was already a great car. We just wanted to emphasize on what was there and make it better, keeping the V6 keeping it you know, really menacing and kind of a wolf in sheep's clothing is kind of what we really wanted to do. We wanted to keep an original T-Tops car. Working with Kevin was great. He came up with the whole Dark Knight theme. It added the character to the car, really made it come to life and add the story, and just really makes it fun to work with. So, awesome work. Uh, you know, and I know Dave, you told him that I have an original uh, GNX. So, the thing with that car, I feel like that car is artwork. I don't want to drive that car. Um, I want to save that car and put that car up because I feel like for years and years and years it's only going to obtain value. But I wanted the Grand National that I could drive. And the beauty of what they do, they listen to my ideas and they help me bring them uh, to reality. And Sean, when I tell you the, the combination of that, that color, that, that, that nickel, that dark blue, that cream, we still stay true to the Grand National interior while giving it a little flair and pop of new. The body, the way it sits, I mean, I can't complain about anything, man. Like, and keep in mind, I drive the cars. Like, I don't just sit on the cars. I drive the cars. This will be a driver. This will be a daily driver. <laughs> a daily driver. This is amazing, man. Great work, guys. 
God damn, hold on. Yeah, so Kevin, we did like a full redesign on the front fascia, 3D modeled the whole thing in a CAD program, an alias, resurfaced it all, did the air intakes, a custom splitter made out of sheet metal, it's all carbon fiber, uh, custom badging, you know. Right. Yeah, carbon fiber hood. So just a couple of highlights, obviously, carbon fiber, front and rear bumper, HRE, HRE wheels, um, and kind of reminiscent of the GNX more than the Grand National. Carbon fiber inner fenders. Uh, Randy from uh, Randy Russell from Psycho Shop did all the metal work around the firewall engine bay, and we wanted to keep it true, being a V6. So it's the same V6 that's in the Cadillac ETSV actually, but it's built up by Gearhead Fabrications with a bigger boost lab turbo. So Gabe's obviously did the interior. Uh, BASF with the paint work, uh, sponsor of ours for paint. And uh, Image Detailing did an amazing job. The guy worked 24 hours, Eric over there. And uh, I just want to shout out to Magnaflow. Amazing toast right now, and this toast goes to the car enthusiasts, but more importantly, the car builders, the creators, everybody that's a part of making these dreams become a reality. This is once again, not an individual space. You need a team, you need a group. So to all of you, I thank you genuinely for what you do. I love you guys. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers.